Our question of the day is a great way to welcome in Bronson Kafusi, who joins us from Baltimore on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline, member of the Baltimore Ravens and former third-round draft pick into the NFL. All right, Bronson, you're the general manager today, and you can draft <laughs> anybody out of BYU football and the long history as your number one overall pick. Who are you going to take, man? Myself, no. Uh, <laughs> Smart man. Uh, that's, a good, that's a good answer. <laughs> Not my, besides myself, uh, I'm going to take my good friend, Ziggy Anta. Okay. Nice. Yes, the elders of defense, Bronson Kafusi <laughs> and Ziggy Anta. I like it, man. Hey, uh, obviously this is a big Friday night for a guy like Fred Warner. And you experienced this night not too long ago. What, mm-hmm. are, the, what are the emotions like, do you think, for – a player like Fred Warner, as he awaits something that he's been hoping for his entire life, and that is to have an NFL team call him up and say, hey, we're we're drafting you. We pick you. Oh, man, I feel like your emotions are just all over the place. You've got excitement. You're a little anxious. uh, But really, when it comes down to it, you're just excited for whatever opportunity comes your way, and you just just can't wait to go make the most of it. And so I'm, I'm sure Fred's feeling that way, and I'm really excited for him. Can't wait to... Uh, see where he goes. What was your draft night experience like? I mean, tonight it's rounds two and three. You were taken in round three on a Friday. What, what do you remember from that day? Well, for me, I'd say it was really low key for me. I, I didn't really have a party or anything. I just wanted to be uh, with with my family, uh, and so I just kind of was at my at my house with my you know my siblings sitting there, and um, I just remember the call coming in and. Uh, man, just full of emotion. Couldn't really, you know, really hold hold anything in, you know. Just feeling so grateful. And uh, after that, after the phone call, uh, all my then all my friends and family came over and we had a little get together, and it was it was fun to celebrate that. But it's really the beginning, and so that's kind of how I how I viewed it. From the moment that you were drafted. Walk us through the timeline of what happened over the next 24 to 48 hours. So I got a, so they, they flew me out. I uh, came out to Baltimore. Uh, they took me on a tour of the facility, met with uh, some coaches and um, people from the front office. And then uh, uh, had a little um, media day and uh, had some media day interviews and then uh, came back to Utah, grabbed, grabbed my stuff and, then he went back out for rookie mini camp for the next for the for the following time, and then was there all the way through till the end of uh, OTAs and mini camp. How vivid are the details of those days? Is is it a blur, or do you remember things well? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit of a blur. I don't remember a ton of things. I just I just remember the feeling. You know, it's just something that you have put so much time and effort into. And uh, it's really, really a dream and a dream come true. And so it's just really this. I just remember loving every second of it and still and still this time, I'm still loving it. So I'm just I'm, I'm so grateful and blessed to be uh, living out a dream that I that I love and uh, continuing to you know get better and better. I do want to ask you a question now as a player. I want you to put on maybe your, your scouting hat a little bit now in terms of pro potential. What would be the scouting report on your brother Corbin? Oh boy, <laughs> man! You know what, Corbin? He's he, uh, man. He has some things that a lot of people don't have. You know, he he. One thing I think that really stands out is well, first he's his, his effort's huge, right? He he plays hard. He, every down you're going to get full effort out of him. You know, he makes a lot of plays where he's running downfield, and it's crazy because when you watch him, he's so long. You know, he's about six ten and he has like an 86 inch wingspan, and so which is you know that's pretty long considering like a guy like Jadavian Clowney has an 83 inch wingspan. I'm pretty sure. So, wow. I mean, he's just Corbin so long, it's hard for people to grab him when he plays out there on the edge. And um, but he does, you know, he he's really slippery for being that long and uh, you know that that big. So, I mean, this year he'll 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 have a big year this year, and you know, be able to get after the quarterback. I know will definitely help him. Bronson Kafusi, defensive lineman for the Baltimore Ravens, is joining us from Baltimore on day two of the NFL draft. We're previewing what's going to happen to Fred Warner and uh, reminiscing a bit about Bronson's uh, experience on draft day. 
Okay, what about the scouting report at this point for your youngest brother, Devin? Because he's kind of an unknown for a lot of BYU fans. What kind of a player is he? Man, that, Devin is he, – he is a football player, man. He – you know, Corbin and I, we, we love uh, – we, we've grown up playing basketball – during basketball season and football and he Devin did too, but he, you can tell he's just an all football guy. He's, he's going to be, man, he's going to be good. He's really going to be good. I'm excited for him because he's kind of got a little, a little, a little mixture of, uh, you know, me, Corbin. I don't know. He's just, he's going to be exciting to watch. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing Devin, uh, really develop. I mean, he just got home from a mission a few months ago. He's had time to train, but he's just going to – every year is just going to be – there's going to be a huge jump for Devin. Speaking of training, and I know you're in Baltimore now, but we actually saw you a couple weeks ago around the BYU facilities working out with some of the other former Cougars who are in the NFL. We saw you with uh, Robertson Daniel, DeAndre Wesley. What's that dynamic like getting back together with the guys in Provo and working out? Oh, man, it's a great – it's a great dynamic being able to be there with guys that you play with and uh, everyone's working towards – being great and so every day it's you're going to go there you're going to work hard you're going to uh put everything into it and you're you're surrounding yourself with guys who are on the same journey so everyone throughout that time of training just continues to rise so uh you know i i love i love being able to come back and train see the guys you know go watch some film with my brothers and and train you know other players too so it's it's fun it's it's and and it's a blessing so i'm grateful they let me go back and uh and train there Bronson, uh, we understand you're healthy now, feeling good, and it's, I'm sure in your mind, time to show the Ravens and the NFL everything that you have in your arsenal. How do you see your role in Baltimore playing out for the approaching 2018 NFL season? You know what, for me, I feel like they're going to use me in a lot of different ways. I, I can rush on the inside. I can play the edge. Um, and I'm excited because I'm healthy, and I, I really get to show, yeah, exactly what you said, what I'm all about. And um, I can't wait to surprise a lot of people. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that, to that. Where do you think you've improved the most since coming into the league? And obviously, as you mentioned, fighting through those injuries. You know, being able to do a lot of the fundamental things uh, great all the time. I think that's the biggest thing for me. Is, um, and also just understanding the game at this level. It's, it's been great being able to learn from, you know, great players like, you know, Terrell Suggs and uh, great coaches. So, Looking forward to just put it all together for this upcoming year. What's the best part of playing in Baltimore for your head coach John Harbaugh? Oh man, I love how he I love how he pushes us and and uh, you know similar to, to uh, my head coach when I was at BYU, Bronco Mendenhall. You know he's gonna he's gonna make sure he gets everything out of you and and I love that mentality. His mentality is you know always moving forward. Um, you know, not creating any drag. So I, I love, I love that. I love how the um, system set up over here. Is there a little BYU pipeline going there? I mean, between Dennis Pitta and Roberts and Daniel, and now you. I mean, does does Coach Harbaugh know what BYU is about? <laughs> I think, I think he does. I mean, he keeps bringing some guys over here, so um, it's it, it's a good thing. You know, the more guys we get, uh, the better from BYU. What is the feeling for people that, that maybe when they meet you for the first time or didn't know a lot about you with, with getting some BYU guys there, what is the feeling uh, about BYU when they find out that's where you're from? Uh, I, feel, I feel like a lot of guys, when they hear that I'm from BYU and they just know that we're just a tough, uh, man, we're just a tough team. And, you know, from college, uh, you know, everyone that plays us, they, you know, like, man, you guys, man, you guys, you know, we just shock people, surprise people. You know, people don't realize, you know, how, how tough we are. And so it's, it's great to be a part of something like that. Now, are the watch parties for BYU football games at your house or at uh, Rob Daniels' house? Or I know Dennis is still broadcasting. Maybe maybe Dennis is going to host. Uh, I don't know. Who hosts the watch party? <laughs> Man, I, I think, you know, really, I think everyone watches it by themselves. And then the next day we all come together and talk about it. So, <laughs> uh, so I mean, East Coast time, it's hard. It's hard, you know, especially for me, you know, I've, my, you know, now I have two brothers on the team, cousins. Uh, I, you know, I got, I always, I watch every single one of them. So it's fun to watch them and go talk about it. And um, looking forward to, you know, this upcoming year for the team. Bronson, for your sake and sanity, I hope BYU beats Utah so that you can remind Eric Weddle that it's still a rivalry. 
<laughs> I know. We're, we will. <laughs> this is the year. You should, you should tell wait. him he needs to shave his beard if that happens. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll make a deal with them having diet blue. Oh, yes. Oh, here it is. Yes, Bronson. There it yes. is. I like that even better. Yes, my friend. Hey, it's great to talk to you, man. Uh, congratulations on uh, your good record of health, and we wish you the best moving forward, man. Hey, thanks. Appreciate the call. Bronson Kafusi on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, your values, your timeline, your financial future.